What's up everyone? Welcome to American Truck Simulator once again. And today we are going to be checking out the brand new SCS Volvo VNL series. That is correct. We no longer have to use the mods unless you absolutely want to because SCS has partnered up with Volvo to bring us three variants of the VNL truck. The 300, which is the day cab variant, the 740, and the Globetrotter 860, which we are using today. Now, we knew SCS was coming out with the Volvo from their Christmas stream, so it was only a matter of time before they actually did put it in game. Uh, we did have the, I uh, can't remember exactly which truck we had last, but there are a few more trucks in the works. The couple of next gen uh, 579 and T680, as well as a W990, and of course we had the Volvo, and I think there's supposed to be more trucks coming into the game. I'm not 100% certain, but it is cool to actually have uh, this in game now. Even though, yes, it is uh, 6 a.m. game time, we're going to do a little bit of a kind of tour around the truck here. As I mentioned, this is the 860, the Globe Trotter. Very nice looking truck. We actually don't need the mod anymore, which is nice. We got the Aero Kit, and today we're currently in Corpus Christi, Texas. And we are taking this tractor here, I believe, to Lufkin. Uh, yep, to the Hitachi in Lufkin, Texas. Man, we are currently at this uh, cotton farm here in Corpus Christi. I believe it's a new uh, pickup location because I've never actually picked anything up from the, a cotton farm before. So definitely a new location. Let's go ahead and turn on these lights here. And then, of course, we have the flashers and all that. Brand new Volvo. Went with the nice uh, school bus yellow today. Let's go ahead and hop into the cab here and let's start trucking. In the cab of the Volvo, as you can hear, it is very quiet outside compared to the engine outside. But we do have, you know, the default SES uh, the interior cabin items. We do have some uh, custom stickers on there as well. Um, I did throw in a few mods from the workshop for custom items, but supposedly they are not working on the Volvo, probably because it's too new. But here's a look at the interior. A lot of... Uh, customization options for the interior which is nice I like that beware of trucker uh, sticker and then we have the uh, million dollar sticker down there too which I think is cool got our coffee cup early in the morning as I said 6 a.m. and we are ready to go one thing though about this truck flashers are kind of loud not gonna lie but we do have the screen of course it does change with the I key so you can have it set to whatever you want I'm going to have it set to the speedometer, but we're going to go ahead and hop on trucking here. Go ahead and turn on the flasher since we are leaving our uh, pickup point here, the uh, industry. But today is Saturday. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today so far. I know I do apologize for uh, no videos throughout the week just been a busy week especially with uh, being on call for my job so it has been a pretty uh, busy week so far I don't think we have to go uh, through the scale so we're just gonna go this way But yeah, I've been on call. Um, it's not the fact of that it was a busy week for on call. It's just more of the fact of, you know, you are you know you're on call. You don't know when you're gonna actually get anything. And a lot of times when I do am on call, I'll like throughout the weekend I'll sit there and try to record something. And it's just the thought of, you know, getting a call in the middle of a video and then not knowing if you're okay to continue or if you have to actually stop what you're doing and go respond to the uh emergency which you know some of them are due within we have to show up within two hours some of them uh, you know some of them could be due in the morning you know all that good stuff so it just kind of depends but it's just that thought of getting a call and all that and it just was well, a busy week so far with work and all that but uh we are back here 
Kind of weird, I usually don't do videos on a Saturday, but I did want to showcase this new Volvo. Oh, look at that. That stop sign lights up, man. That's cool. We got a broken down vehicle over there, and we'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. I had to go turn up a uh, setting, but we do got a car coming, so we're going to wait on him. But if you're wondering how I got the uh, different engine sound, it is actually a Cummins uh, ISX engine, which is, I believe, available on the Steam Workshop is where I found it, because the original uh, uh, the engines that come with this truck are uh, the Volvo Detroit, I believe the Volvo like D16 series or something. I don't think it's Detroit, I think it's just the standard Volvo engine. So I'm like, yeah, you know what, they're probably not going to sound the greatest. At least this uh, Cummins ISX. It's a 565 horsepower. It sounds a little bit better. Well, here we go with the rain. That is actually what I had to uh, turn up. Because uh, we haven't done a rain. A drive in the rain in a long, long time. So I figured, you know, let's go ahead and turn on the rain probability. Wasn't expecting it to rain, start raining this quick. But we do have the realistic rain mod, which I did find on the ATS mod or the different like the various ATS mod sites. I uh, did want to throw in the brutal weather, but I figured since we're doing a new truck showcase, you know, driving in the fog and all that probably would not be the greatest thing, you know, to show off the truck and all that. So I decided to just throw in the realistic rain. We're gonna go ahead and roll with this today, and we'll roll with the brutal weather. Uh, some other time and we were supposed to turn there let us find a new route gonna be turning right up oh we were supposed to turn right over there hold on I'm so confused Any cars behind me oh sorry buddy you're just gonna have to wait while I do this maneuver That's one of the things, I think that's recalculating. <laughs> See, that's one of the things I don't like about, oh, we were supposed to go that way. Okay, I see what they mean now, because it was a two-way, but we're just going to go ahead and turn. That truck just blatantly ran a stop sign, so did that car. Interesting. That trucker did not care, just blatantly ran that stop sign, and we're supposed to go straight. Already off to a Yo Adrian start, missed our, uh, missed our turn, but it is okay. It is definitely okay. But yes, like I mentioned, realistic rain mod, available on the various ATS mod sites. Uh, brutal weather will probably be coming soon. As well as I do want to do a hot shot uh, trucking. I do have Frank Brazil's F350. And a lot of you guys have been asking for hot shot. So I'm going to be uh, showcasing that. As well as I will be purchasing uh, Ruda's Ram. I believe it's a 3500 is what he's selling. So we will be checking that out as well. I think we're supposed to yield to these guys. Which yes we are. That's an older Amazon Prime trailer. I have not seen one of those in a while. Got to yield to this guy. And we are Gucci. I think we're turning where that Pepsi... Yep, definitely turning where that Pepsi truck is. Good on fuel. Uh, this delivery will be late. So, uh... Is what it is. Because if I uh, didn't switch it back to 6 a.m., we would be driving throughout the night, and I don't want to do that. But yeah, uh, as I mentioned, it was a busy week for me at work, and uh, finally on a three-day weekend, so I'm super excited. Whoa, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? That car is not going to let that semi turn. Oh, he barely missed him. I don't think that car in front knows what he's doing. 
I really don't, because they have stops. Yeah, they have a stop sign as well. Owner operator for Schaefer, it looks like. But we do got a bunch of new trucks, uh, including this Volvo, as I mentioned. We're going to be showcasing this one, possibly the day cab. Uh, definitely the day cab. Possibly the 740, I believe is what it is. And we do got quite a few different modded trucks. Uh, some new modded trailers as well to showcase. So I'm super excited um, to be checking all the stuff out here in ATS here in the next upcoming weeks. Also pumped for Oklahoma as well as Kansas. I'm not too sure how they're going to do this. I'm wondering if they're going to make it as a bundle since they are in development of both right now instead of, you know, how they do the map DLCs one by one. I'm wondering if they, like I said, they're going to turn it into a bundle. I think that would be the best way to market those states. Just, in my opinion, it'd be the best way to market those states. That way we have two new states at once. But then I'm not too sure how that's going to work out with the uh, World of Trucks events that they have with whenever the new states release. So I guess uh, we shall see how that goes. Just past a, a Texas DPS trooper right there. But yeah, as I mentioned, got a three-day weekend, which is awesome. So I'm not, I'm actually off till uh, Tuesday, and that is because of Memorial Day Monday. So uh, that's why I said it's kind of weird for me to post uploads on a Saturday since I normally don't do weekend videos. But I did not have a video at all this week, so I figured, you know what, let's post one on the weekend. Why not? What harm could it do? Check station one mile. Oh boy. So many broken down vehicles, and I have a feeling we're going to stop at the check station. Oh, we can bypass. That is what I like to see. I think we're supposed to be... Trucks must turn when flashing, but it said we can bypass, so I think I'll be okay. Uh, we still got the green, so we should be okay. Yeah, man, we got that rainy type of light foggy weather going on right now. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't think I've ever used this mod before. I know it's been a thing for a while, but I think the only actual like weather mods I've used is the brutal weather. And then I think there was like a winter uh, weather mod that gave us snow. I think those are like the only two actual mods that I've used. And what are we doing here? What are we doing, Raven? Ah, uh, there's a wreck. Yeah, they should have had a cop, you know, like maybe a little bit down the road so that we could actually, you know, prepare for something like this instead of that charger just, you know, blatantly running a red light. And I think, yep, that's a yellow, flashing yellow. Oh, intersection, we were supposed to turn there. Good. Yeah, we're golden. Oh, I apologize, dude. As I mentioned, it is some real foggy weather right now. Very foggy weather. I'm actually wearing uh, anti-blue light glasses, so it's actually kind of uh, difficult for me to actually see if it's foggy or not. So I'm like having to look down and... Um, check to make sure that, you know, oh, we got a car coming. Check to make sure that it's actually foggy, because it, it looks foggy, but at the same time, you can't tell. We're supposed to yield to uh, these folks right here, but I think he's going to let me go, so I appreciate it. Going straight, yep, going straight. We're supposed to yield. But yeah, hopefully you guys also had a good week. Hopefully you guys also are going to have a good Memorial Day. We're supposed to yield to these guys over here, which we got a line of cars coming. Alright, after this uh, pickup, we should be good.
But yeah, let me know what you guys' plans are for uh, Memorial Day in the comments section down below. You guys are going out, you know, visiting family, going out of state, you know, grilling, doing whatever. Let me know what you guys' plans are for Memorial Day. But let's also not forget what the real reason Memorial Day is celebrated for. And it is for those brave men and women who have lost their lives as soldiers overseas uh, fighting wars and stuff. So definitely let's do a moment of silence for all the brave souls that have lost their lives in the wars. But yeah, if you guys do see a veteran out today, do thank them for their service. I mean, you should be doing that every day. That, at least that's just my opinion. But yep, that just do not forget what the actual Memorial Day is for. Granted, yes, three-day weekend, you know, grilling out on the grill, you know, out on the lake, whatever. But let's not forget those fallen who have not made it back home to their families. You know, a lot of families are going to be grieving today because, you know, their son, husband, wife, sister, brother whatever did not make it back home from overseas and that is what Memorial Day is all about a lot of people get it confused like Memorial Day and Veterans Day Memorial Day is to celebrate those that have fallen that have not made it back home whereas Veterans Day is there to celebrate all of the veterans that have served in the uh, military so a lot of people get those confused and I feel like it's a good thing to kind of clear those up a little bit. Man, I don't think this fog is going to let up anytime soon, but we do got a car coming. We're going to get on the Jakes here. I think he's going to be good to merge. Give him the old high beam. Oh, we got a stoplight coming up ahead. can't see what it says but I'm assuming since everybody's stopping it's a red light of course it turns green as soon as I uh, come to a stop we need to get in that left lane But yeah, going along with uh, work, I, uh, oh, we're supposed to be in this lane right here. Nope, actually, that's the next one. Oh, is that like a crash detector? Is that what that is? That's actually kind of cool if it is. Yep, we're supposed to be at the next one. Yep, here we go. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're not blocking that lane. Get as far over, get our trailers over as possible. And sit here and wait on an arrow. Got that green arrow. It's actually currently like 1.30 in the morning uh, while I am recording this. 45 mile an hour. Oh, we got Tyson over here. But I found this uh, new energy drink. So I don't know if you guys know, I do the Mountain Dew Energy, which is supposed to be like a newer, or it's supposed to be like a more healthier option to energy. There's a bunch of caffeine and I think like 180 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, there's no sugar, but there's like a bunch of other stuff that are supposed to be like good for you, I guess. But I drink those. I do drink uh, rain energy I love rain energy the uh, white gummy bear one is my all-time favorite recently I have uh, found or I have not found it but it's been a thing recently I've tried the uh, c4 energy like in a can the bomb pop flavor man oh man that right there is delicious let me tell you right then and there it's actually kind of funny cuz uh, Mountain Dew came out with summer freeze which is supposed to be a bomb pop flavored Mountain Dew. And I think the C4 actually tastes more like a bomb pop than the Mountain Dew does, which I think is hilarious. But going back to what I was uh, talking about, I found this new rain energy. It's called Rain Storm. And it is a, like a clean energy drink. 
And uh, I've only seen it in two flavors so far. There's an orange and a grape. And I'm currently drinking the orange one. And I gotta say, it's actually really, really good. You know, I try to drink coffee in the mornings, but sometimes when I don't feel like making coffee, I'm going to uh, go to energy drinks. And I'm trying to find, you know, energy drinks that are a little bit better for you than Monster and Red Bull. What I used to drink, so I'm trying to find ones that have, like, low calories or no sugar or something. And so far I found this rain. I've been drinking rain. I've been, you know, recently I started drinking C4. And then I started drinking the Mountain Dew Energy. Not to be confused with Mountain Dew Kickstart. It's actually a different brand. It's got their actual flavors. So like Code Red, Pitch Black, Major Melon, Baja Blast. Um, it's actually like actual Mountain Dew flavors. Just in a zero sugar energy form. But that is what I have been drinking. And it looks like the fog has uh, gone away, thankfully. So we are good there. Just going to be raining the rest of the day probably. But yeah, if you guys have, uh, if you do like rain and you haven't, you know, you see uh, rain clean energy, uh, rainstorm is what it's actually called, definitely pick it up. Let me know if you've tried it and if you like it. Let me know what your favorite uh, energy drink is in the comment section. Like I said, I used to drink a lot of Monster, a lot of Amp, which is another Mountain Dew one. And I'm trying to cut back on it and kind of, you know, looking for the more healthier alternatives to uh, energy drinks. Uh, when I don't feel like making coffee, but, you know, coffee is my go-to. And we have another way station, which I'm hoping this is a bypass. And it's not going to be a bypass. This one we will have to pull into. Okay, where do they want us is the real question. I think they want us here. Oh. There's the, okay, this one's got the scale. That's the bypass. All right, let's go ahead and pass the inspection. 62,270 pounds. All right, let's go ahead and get back on the road now. into our lane or are you gonna I'm gonna let you in there you go didn't even have to blinker on until like the very last minute but another uh, thing that I actually started drinking recently was um, do you guys remember a while back I was talking about hard mountain dews I found those by like a Bro, 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 you're supposed to yield to me. I mean, technically they're not, but they are. But, like I said, if you guys remember, I found happy, or er, by a happy accident, I found Hard Mountain Dew. And let's just say that was a major flop. Granted, uh, now there's Live Wire, which that one is actually probably my favorite out of them all. You just have that like nice orange taste to it. It's not overpowering or nothing. But they do also just came out with a Baja lineup, which I believe has mango, pineapple, and then another flavor that used to be a Baja Blast, uh, summer of Baja flavor. I can't remember which one it is. But they did come out with a uh, pack of that for limited time. Looks like I'm actually going straight. Yes. Okay. But, they did, like I said, they came out with that. 
but recently Monster has came out with their own line of hard beverages and I gotta say those have actually blown me away you know going from hard Mountain Dew I was not expecting much thinking it's gonna be the same thing you know just zero sugar versions of Monster and you know all of that but the I've tried all four of them so far and my least favorite is the white one but the peach the berry one and the regular monster are phenomenal they literally do taste like actual monster and it really surprised me so I started drinking those and I also have started uh, I bought a bottle of it but I'm probably gonna go buy another bottle of it it is twisted tea um, if you guys know twisted tea they actually made a whiskey and uh, I have bought a bottle of it and I tried it and I I love it it literally just tastes like it literally tastes like sweet tea and you know you, you get that whiskey burn and it's it's really really good so I'm definitely gonna be stocking up on that because I'm not too sure if it's a limited time or if it's you know a permanent thing but uh definitely if you are over 21 and if you like twisted tea or and if you like monster I would definitely give it a try. One thing we're actually looking for is uh, Arizona for, has actually released a hard version of their teas, which Lauren and I are actually looking for. Supposedly, as of right now, they are only available in Canada, but I'm hoping that they will come to the U.S. soon. And then Lipton has come out with hard versions of their stuff as well. So it's like all of these drinks that you you know drank in your child in your childhood, you know, early life, is now coming to you in adult beverage form. And I gotta say, I am all for it. I really, really am. I'm gonna go ahead and get behind this uh, Jeep here. I feel like we should be in the right lane. But yeah, so far I'm enjoying the Volvo. I really am. As I mentioned, the engine is a Steam Workshop mod, so if you guys do not want the default engine sounds, uh, definitely go ahead and download that from the workshop. But yeah, like I said, definitely am enjoying driving this Volvo so far. And it does feel good to actually drive in the rain. Oh, he's oh, because right lane's ending. Yeah, I, I do not remember how long it's been since we've actually driven in the rain. I believe during the winter time we drove in the snow. And I think that was the last time we've actually done anything other than uh, just sunny, clear weather. So definitely a nice change of pace. I got no complaints from this Volvo. It is a very good job by SCS. Really is. I give them props to this man. Like I said, they they take their time on this stuff. They don't rush things. They take their time to put it right and make sure that it's right. The only thing, the only gripe that I have with these DLCs is that, you know, the engine sounds. They need, like, actual engine sounds that actually sound good and are not, you know, quiet just like the default ones usually are that is my only gripe i mean they have gotten better they're actually out there you know recording different engines and stuff for uh trucks and all that which is uh you know a huge huge step with them you know being developers and all that they're actually trying to listen to the actual community to make their game better based on you know feedback from its player base which i think is awesome now, if only they, uh, you know, hurried up a little bit on the states, but I'm not, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm not rushing them by any means. I'd rather them beta test it and beta test it and beta test it until it's, you know, 100% completed working order before they put anything out. So, I mean, you know, I'm not rushing them by any means, but it's just, uh, I really don't want to be waiting until like 2050 to have all 50 states in. ATS, so let's hope that's not the case. 
But I do feel like, you know, since they have teased Oklahoma, Kansas, I feel like they have another team working on the other states right now. But that are you know, just not, you know, uh, talked about. That's, you know, in development. They're not going to announce anything. But I just feel like that is my thing. It is raining, so we should probably start getting back a little bit. I do like this realistic rain mod. It does actually uh, revamp the rain a lot in the game. I don't know if they've actually updated the rain, uh, phys not the physics, but like the raindrops and all that and the wet roads in the actual game, but I do like the mod so far. Definitely do. Looks like we're going to be exiting up here, going to Lufkin. If you are an actual uh, trucker watching this, I know I've asked this question before, but I've heard truckers say you do not use Jake brakes in the rain. I've heard truckers say you do use them in the rain. And then I've also heard truckers say you're not supposed to use it in the snow or you, you, well, you can just be careful. So what's the actual thing? Are you supposed to be using your Jake brakes in the rain? Or is that like just a some that's a no no in the trucking industry? I think we're exiting. Yes, we are exiting over here. I think we're going just on the uh, outskirts of Lufkin here. Oh, look at that Starbucks billboard. I think they yield. Nope, it turns into two. Okay, cool. Oh, we're supposed to turn right here, man. Oh, no, right not here. Sorry, everybody. New trucker. Rookie driver. Oh. I don't know if he's letting me go. He could just, you know, change lanes, or... Alright, well, go ahead and let me go. I appreciate it there, bud. Good to get in the left lane. We are taking a left just up the road of over here. There's the Hitachi. That's where we're taking this uh, tractor to. It's all over now. It looks like it's a uh, maintenance shop, so uh, tractor might be going in for some maintenance. They want it right in there. Yes, they do. Now, this is actually not our uh, flatbed either. This is the... Uh, it could be the uh, company we picked up at that cotton plant. It could be their step deck trailer, but it's uh, definitely not ours. All right, I'd roll the window down, but it's raining. You know what? We'll do it. Rain doesn't come in the cab anyway, even though it be more realistic if it did, but it doesn't, so we should be okay. Sure we don't hit anything on this side over here. I think we're gonna be okay. Do a pull up here just to be on the safe side. Uh, 
I don't think we're supposed to go into that, but it is what it is. Do another pull up here just because. Alright, now we should have it perfectly in the lines. Unless I screw something up, which it looks like I was just about to, but we can overcorrect this easily. We're going to be hugging this line here, but I think we'll be okay. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and detach the trailer. So yeah, it was a late delivery like I said it was going to be. 374 miles, we made $19,676. Man, if only that money would be transferred to real life, that would be amazing. But that is going to go ahead and do it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think about the actual SCS Volvo, if you've already played with it, driven it. Let me know what your thoughts are. I think it looks absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to use it again. But uh, hopefully you guys, like I said, hopefully you guys have a good weekend. Have a good Memorial Day weekend. Uh, like I said, some of us is a three-day weekend. Make sure you guys hit the like button on the way out if you haven't already. As well as that subscribe button. As well as follow me on all the social media. Everything is in the description down below. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.